Okay then, uh, here's my third video of the day today. This is going to be about, again, Windows Vista and your hard drive this time. So, first thing I'm going to say here is it really does depend what you're doing. I really just do AIM and stuff like this, my email. So I've got 72.3 gig free of 111. If I right hand click on that and go properties, I do not have it compressed and the capacity is 111. But it's actually about 120 gigabyte hard drive. And that's more than enough for what I need. My ThinkPad is 100 gigabyte and my, in, in my HP 8230, it came with an 80 and I recently upgraded it to 120 just because the old one was loud and uh, it was pretty slow. So, now if you're recording TV, or movies, putting videos on it, you're a big media guy, then I would suggest you might have a couple hundred gig, maybe 500, maybe a terabyte, which is 1,024 gig. Really depends on what you're doing with it. But for me, I could honestly live with about 10 gig. So well, let's see what, maybe not 10, let's see what I was using. I'm Okay, I'm using 39.5, so I could live with a 42 gig, okay. But... Okay, then you've got the RPM, revolutions per minute. Standard now is 5400, and that's what all of mine are, but my ThinkPad is 7200, which is, I, I do notice a difference. It, it is a bit faster, but it is louder. Not bad, but it is a little bit louder. I would recommend 5400 for the average user and 7200 for someone who wants to keep it very updated, has the cache and isn't going to miss it, and would like a maybe may, maybe a little bit faster computer. I don't really know. But 5400 RPMs are fine. Then there's EIDE. That's the interface of your hard drive. My the the HP Contact NC8230 is an EIDE. I don't know what the IDE stands for. Go ahead and Google that. But the E is enhanced because IDE was around first. Now my pavilion is just like about two weeks old here and surprisingly it's EIDE the other ones are SATA serial ATA I would look up ATA I don't know what that stands for either but that's that, that's what's new now to help tell them apart the IDE is the one with all of the pins on the side the SATA is the one where you kind of uh, plug in two or more different cables and they're not just like 50 or 60 gold pins sticking out of the side of it and it would probably stay on the front of it, wouldn't it? So, interfaces, I would say SATA is probably the way to go. But, there really isn't anything wrong with IDE. It's just, I suppose it's a little outdated. So again, the average computer user might use 50, 60 gig, that's fine. Now you want to record TV, that's a lot of space it's going to take up. So, then go and get a bigger hard drive, 220. 260, 280, maybe even a terabyte or two terabytes. And you're working with virtual machines, those are big. You're, you want a dual boot operating systems. Um, so th that's up to you. But I hope this video helped you. And I think I'm going to make one more video after this. So I will talk to you guys later.